Hey YouTube, we're going to do a little unboxing video today. What we have here, you know what, it's just going to be one of those days. What we have here is the Primos Dog Catcher. Just got this in by FedEx Ground today. And I just wanted to bring y'all along with the unboxing. Uh, it was it was great in shipping. Nothing was damaged. Nothing, nothing was broke. This uh, this has twelve proven sounds from Randy Anderson on it. If y'all don't know who he is, he's a he's a huge predator caller in the uh, the predator calling world. Um, it is wireless. It's got a hundred and fifty yard range between the the remote and the uh, the speaker, the caller part. Um, lightweight. Uh, the calls on it is the interrogation house, female invitation house, coyote serenade, adult coyote distress, uh, coyote pup distress, cottontail distress, baby cottontail distress, jackrabbit distress, baby jackrabbit, baby fawn distress, rodent distress, and woodpecker distress. And I chose that because the preloaded sounds that was on it um, was was more common in this area than some of them. Some of them was like snowshoe hair and this and that. And, but they say that that piques interest in uh, animals that, that's not in their native area. But I, I just wasn't going to try it. Also, I picked this up for a hundred bucks. So you know what? What the heck? If uh, if it isn't that great, then then I'm not out much. But let's see what we got here. Very well packed. Um, here is my, what was that called? That's the A23 battery. First thing out of the box right there. Very well packed. Instructions. Um, we'll hang on to those. I doubt we'll read them. Bubble wrap. Everybody loves bubble wrap. We could probably do a do a whole second video on the bubble wrap. Anyway, here it is. Um, first impressions. It's lightweight. It's much smaller than uh, than it was online. It does have the adjustable legs, so you can stand it up in different positions. I don't know if you can you can see that. Or we can lay it down right there. This remote right here is just magnetic. It just clips off, clips right back on. Um, the antenna right here folds up. Antenna on the remote comes up like that. Pretty hardy little. That's rubberized too. That's that's all rubberized. Seems pretty hardy. Almost. Uh, it reminds me of a mill spec design. So uh, let's uh, see how hard it is to put this battery in this remote. Um, mine already has batteries in the unit itself, but we do have to install this special A23 battery. Am I saying that right? Yep, A23. Uh, they sell, and I kind of did a little research on that battery, they sell a better one in town that's even rechargeable, but it is a special battery. It's, it's kind of smaller than a AAA, but big around as a AA. Uh, you, do need a, you do need a flathead screwdriver. Um, what I thought was interesting is even the, the battery the battery bay on the call itself and on the remote, I don't know if you can see that, there is a gasket uh, that keeps water from getting into your battery your battery area, um, which I really like. So, you know, condensation and moisture and, and everything like that can, can cor corrode a battery pretty quick. So, and if you're like me, you're not the, the best at thinking of pulling batteries out every time you use something or go to store something for the for the season or the year when the year's over so okay we got the battery in we got it tightened up see if we can get them to sync up and call here um, power button is on the back right here when you turn it on you see there's a there's a red light right there when you turn the remote on you hit the power button right there and a green light comes on right there. 
So it goes off, comes on. When you're calling, a red light comes up over here. So let's go ahead and turn the volume down. Let's just run through a couple of these. Um, Coyote Serenade. If you can hear that, that sounds pretty good. That's pretty crisp, pretty clear. There is a pause button. You can stop a call and start another one. Like, uh, here's a baby cottontail. You can stop it. It does say you can play two at once. Um, let's try a jackrabbit. Coyote Serenade. That's that's pretty handy if you're trying to, to trick trick the more wily of predators. Um, but anyway, I wanted to give you a little review of me unboxing it. Again, I, I find it very compact, lightweight, and easy to use. Turn it off. It, it folds up. Folds up real easy. The remote also has a hook on it right here. If you want to uh, get a lanyard out and hang it around your neck, you just flip it up and look at it. Each of those 12 buttons, focus, are labeled with the call. So it's super intuitive call. Um, and what I think I'm going to do is I brought my old call, which which quit on me. Um, I'm going to show it to you. This is the old, old school. It's got the old nightlight battery on it that you charge up to run your speaker. It, it is dead with one of these and if if you're if you're under uh, 25 years old you don't know what this is this is a tape deck or a walkman as as kids say um, we had all kinds of tape calls that we would put in and, and call on but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of this out because I've this the bag I've had for this call is this camo field bag with a shoulder strap on it. And I think it's going to be just perfect to carry this call. Yeah, here we go, people. Looky there. Coyote Pup Distress Tape. If that ain't old school, I don't know what is. Kind of giving you all my age a little bit here. So anyway, let's see. Well, that thing's so compact. Right here, I even got a, got a box of shells in there. We'll just leave them out. Look at here. It fits nicely in there. Plenty of room for extra batteries or, or gloves or whatever I'm going to use with it. But uh, we're going to make sure this dude's turned off. We're going to close it up. Now, I'm going to put all this paperwork in, in here with it. And I will throw some extra batteries and stuff in this pouch with it. But that's a good size bag to keep keep a few extra possibles when you're in the field. Okay, folks. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the uh, Primos Dog Catcher. Again, it it's uh, it's under a hundred bucks tax and all. You you might wind up paying right at a hundred bucks for it. But so far, first impressions good. Sounds good. Uh, completely honest with you, I, I have already unboxed it. That's how the batteries got in the collar first and uh, played with it a little bit at work. Uh, it did bring in two mangy co-workers to see what was going on. But Anyway, stay with me. We will uh, hopefully this weekend we'll get back out in the field. We'll try it out and see if we can't kill a predator. Till next time, God bless.